Okay, so we've just, we just had to escape lots of tourists trying to take photos well, with us so that we can go and be tourists yeah. ourselves. <laughs> we, just, we just want to do things. We just want to do things. All right. Let's go here this place. I've heard it's... <coughs> They're just finding out if it's okay for us to go into the loop looking like the way we do. It's the biggest art museum in the world. We're just so finding sad. out if it's okay that we're going to be allowed allowed to come in looking hmm. like us. <laughs> This feels so familiar, doesn't it? Yes, it, for security reasons, it's not possible to the room. I'm sorry. Your clothes, your... What is wrong with my clothes and my hair? For me, I like it. No, it's, it's not, not possible me. to put them in the I don't really know why I'm crying. I guess I'm just kind of sick of this sort of thing happening. I guess we can try and come back another day when we don't look so weird, but... Um, well, yeah. then the clothes are wrong or something like that as well. Then there is something. Okay, that's kind of a bad start. I love your hair. I mean, I, I love your hair too. Um, I wanted to get it as big as yours. <laughs> it's it's not it's not as hard to do as everybody else. <laughs> it's good. Well, we've just been. You've just so been. now we're gonna get some lunch, I think. Yes. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I did. I'm yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm sad you weren't allowed in. So. Yeah, I can't really believe they just happened. I don't know. Why does this keep happening? Why does this Luckily, keep there are lots of places in Paris that are amazing, so hopefully that's you'll true. find something else to do. Yeah, that's true. If that was a bit of a clusterfuck, I don't know if I actually did a very good job of filming anything just now. Yeah, we're feeling really, really sad because we were just told we're not allowed to visit the Louvre. No, Let's go look Paris around. is a this great and beautiful, beautiful big city. city. Yeah, this is only one thing of many here. Let's do something else and maybe we'll have another go at the Louvre on another day. I'm a little bit scared. This was his idea, this is not mine. Hey! <laughs> 17 meters. 70 meters. 70 meters. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Alright. I have no fear. <laughs> but thank you. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's go. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. No, I, why am I scared? I'm scared of height. But... I'm not scared of heights, I'm just scared of everything because I'm a bit nervous as well. Crazy. There's a fairly familiar monument over there. Ah, <laughs> Wow! Not, not wow. a bad view, is it? Not bad. Oh this is Matthias's first time in a Ferris wheel. Well, I'm not sure if this counts as a Ferris wheel because it's so large. There's like another name for the extremely big ones. Oh, oh we're oh. at the top! <laughs> we're at the top. Oh. <laughs> Relax, everything's fine. Oh. Wow! Oh. <laughs> and I have a nice story. Uh, the last, when I was here years ago, and the last time I walked down the street, there was a chap walking in the other direction who was like, <laughs> like furiously crossing himself until he couldn't see me anymore. Yeah. I was watching a documentary recently about this shop and this brand, and I really want to go in, but there's two very intimidating-looking security men at the door, and I have, and they're staring at us, and I have a real good feeling that they're going to be like, you are not allowed to come in here. I'm obsessed with perfume, and this is like well, we can, the place Well, at least we can go. try. No, I don't even want to. I do, however, want to go in here because they sell Kat Von D, and uh, <laughs> this is this is Sephora. This is. Oh please, let's go in here. Oh my god, I'm dying. Help me. Oh, I found what I was looking for. Well, this is a fun shop. Got me some stuff. All good. Right, let's go find Matias. Wow, Sephora is like an intense shopping experience. I bought um, three lipsticks from there and white concealer and I got like a, a green lipstick from Makeup Forever and I got some beautiful looking Excuse false me. eyelashes. Thank you. <laughs> You're all going to be in my video now. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Okay. Merci. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Merci. Welcome. <laughs> Right, I feel a little bit like a celebrity now. Oh my god, we're in the girl we're in the girl shop. I'm I I'm dying. This shop is just a little bit posh. It is like so gold in here. <laughs> it's beautiful. For a complete perfume junkie like me, coming to a shop like this is like I've tested the famous one, Shelly Mall. Really you tested it as well? No, well you smelled it on me. It's so freezing outside. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's definitely well below zero. It's really needed somewhere to sit down and get out of the cold, and I need to fix my makeup desperately. And everybody's been wanting to take photos with us. Oh god, I'm just so cold. I might get a nice glass of wine while here or something. I don't know. Glass on. It's so terrible, man. I I fully studied French at university. Like I paid a whole bunch of money to learn French just for one semester but it was pretty full on but at the time I was really concentrating on my screenwriting course which was a lot more important and a lot more time consuming so French kind of had to go on the back burner but I did my best unfortunately I, I just you know, my brain's been so busy filling up with German in the last year or so that it's deadly I can't remember like anything from the French that I learned oh well what do we say salut no that's goodbye or is it hello? I don't know. <laughs> Cheers. Important <laughs> landmark. Look. Look. Guess where we are? You get one guess. <laughs> Man. Security in Paris since the terrorist attack a year ago has gotten so tight that we just had to go through security just to walk near the Eiffel Tower. Like a whole body that scan. Is, yeah, like a body scan and bags <laughs> it and stuff just to walk near it. I guess they're very afraid that somebody could damage it, which fair, fair enough. enough. No, it's, whoa! Shit, that's a view, isn't it? Yep, that's uh, quite the view. <laughs> I didn't want to, but Matthias has talked us into going up the Eiffel Tower on the lift. Let's do this. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I feel my ears wanting to pop. <laughs> what? what a view. Holy shit. <laughs> I just got to say something I've always wanted to say. I said, oh, foie gras, just start. <laughs> I've never ordered that before, I've never tried that before in my life, but we're being posh while we're here, so we've got some foie gras to share. To share, because, you know, we're still a bit ghetto. <laughs> foie gras, first time. Pretty excited. You're only been yourself. Smooth. Damn bitch, that looks good. We both ordered the same thing because we're unoriginal and predictable. And they gave us bread with like sauce and cute little jars. I didn't know which cocktail, so they've given me this tiny little tiny little one to taste to see if I like it. I got Nutella tiramisu and it's in a jar. I have a spoon and I'm not afraid to use it. Wow, that's beautiful. Be careful, yeah. 